Oh, uh, hi. Another day, baby. Another gym vlog. Welcome back to the freaking channel. We are munching on some Magic Pop sawdust rice cakes. It's dry as hell. Got a little chocolate on there. But literally, tell me you're cutting without telling me you're cutting. They're only about like seven grams of carbs. The rest is fiber, so I may shit my pants mid back there, so. But aside from like the sawdustiness, the chocolate just takes over. But anyway, guys, your boy, I don't know if you've been following my Instagram. Hopefully, if you're here, you've been following my Instagram and TikTok. Boy's getting pretty, pretty freaking shredded. 11, 12% body fat now. Uh, weighed in the other day, 190. Haven't been 190 in like 2021. It's been, a, it's been a minute, so that's 19 pounds I'm down. However, today and yesterday, for no reason, I don't know why, holding some water, so around 194 today. But uh, today, hopefully, the garage gym is just a steam bath and we just sweat some of that water out. Today's pre, you guessed it, or I just showed you. Doing some bazooka, this is literally my favorite. Look at that shit. It's calling my name, it was just so eager to get out. Look at this. Smoke it. Just doing one scoop today. Just had a cup of coffee. Breakfast was like an hour ago. And honestly, throughout this entire cut, I've been abusing coffee and just energy drinks. And as a result, my heart has just been beaten out of its chest. I can't sleep. Just laying in bed, just literally just staring at the ceiling. So freaking just full of caffeine. Uh, this back day fucking sucks, honestly. I like the first one better. The first one is more and it's more intense, but this back day is like, I think it's barbell rows and like just shit that I don't like to do. Like the back day stuff that I don't like to do. The other the other back day is like uh, T-bar rows and pull-ups and like fun shit. I think I'm hitting traps. I don't wanna hit traps. I'm gonna fucking already have a pinch nerve in my neck. Now I gotta just pinch it again while I'm doing traps with like fucking 90 pound dumbbells. Regardless, we're gonna get through it because we don't want our back to lag behind. I almost forgot we're doing a scoop also of the Sinfree electric lemonade pump powder. Um, just cause nowadays uh, during my lifts, it's quite literally impossible to get a pump unless I have like a heaping scoop of this bad boy in my system. I don't know when you're cutting, you don't have much energy stores, you know, stored up like carbs and stuff. So you're just working out while just pretty much depleted all the time, which sucks. You look shredded. It's just your muscles don't have that fullness that they and that roundness that they would have. You don't quite look as jacked, even though you are leaner. So that's why you see when people, you know, compete in bodybuilding, they just carb up like the day before just to make sure they get that fullness back while they're shredded. But if I do that now, then I'll fucking I'll put on all that all this fat. I'm not ready for that. I'm not that depleted yet. A couple months ago, I would just touch a weight and I would just blow up. Now, pretty much not the case, not existent. But we're just solely relying on all the unknown substances in my pre-workout concoction. Down the friggin' hatch. A little tangy, a little tangy with the lemonade grape combo. A bit tart. A little tart, that's <laughs> a little, little tart. Oh yeah, that was a good Definitely one. 100% <laughs> pick that one up. But I'm gonna enjoy this bad boy. I don't wanna chug it, I'm gonna enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the Iron Chicken. First exercise, pull-ups. As many as my fat ass can fucking do. Four sets to absolute failure. I must choose my targets carefully. It's a big city. I can't be everywhere. They don't know where I am. Set two, baby. Let's get it. Are they? Look at that. I can't see it. You're blocking the mirror. Hold it. Oh my god. Who let Spider Man in the house? That's fucking insane. As a tool, they think I'm hiding in the shadows. But I am the shadows.
Dude, I literally am just, after three sets of pull-ups, already I just feel like a freaking freight train. I am so pumped right now. That's, all, that's just a great sign, honestly. But a little tip, guys, a lot of people have struggles feeling their movements, like their row movements, just feeling their back in general while they're lifting. Um, I used to be that guy. I used to not be able to feel shit. And then I would just like fail on like one of the reps, but I wouldn't feel like the burn in my back. If you're someone that, that is like that, try doing like a, like a pre-exhaustion set of pull-ups before your back day. It just lights them up on fire. And just your lats just are immediately activated right as you go into your actual workout. Something that works for me, so just try it out. I'm in an oversized tee too. Just wait, I'll give him a peek after. All right, last set here, fam. Uh, every other set, the first three, I got 10 reps, roughly, and they were a freaking struggle. So my OCD would kill me if I don't get 10 right here. So I'm gonna do everything in my freaking power to just plow 10 reps of the pull-ups. It's times like these where I just wish I was like 160 pounds, but we're still close to like 190, 200, and just dense as hell, and just weighing me down with all that freaking chicken parmesan and it's just in my system. Even though I didn't eat it, it's still like this quad muscle is straight up just chicken parmesan built up over time, dude. got 10 by the skin of my dick. Dude, that was a grinder. My hands were slipping, you see that, bro? My hands started here and they ended up here. I need some chalk. Calluses ain't doing it anymore. These calluses used to be like fucking Spider-Man grips. Just now, it's freaking summertime in the Iron Chicken. 90 degrees in here, I'm just, just a pool of sweat. It's just building up everywhere. So these things are nice and clammy. But, gotta invest in some chalk. Exercise number two. And this one fucking sucks. My least favorite of all time. If you watch me for a while, you already know that. But it's mad effective and it's been building me into a freaking human just 747 for years now. Going into barbell rows. Just gotta bite the bullet. No going back now. And what I mean by that is there's no going back to our skinny little bitch self that had no back. Now we're just gonna have a fucking clamshell for her back. Going up. Oh yeah, baby. I'm gonna strap her up. There we go. Oh yeah, suck it in. <sighs> Gotta protect the vertebrae at all costs. My freaking vertebrae are just just clicking every time I row. So we're gonna use the belt almost like a bandage to just keep them in place a little bit and just to protect them with, you know, just fucking, it's almost like a tourniquet for your spine. If your spine is, you know, a little bit fucked up like mine is. That's what we're gonna use the belt for. All right guys, little pro tip here. Uh, a lot of the times what I see when I go to a public gym, uh, when people are doing the barbell row, um, they are just pretty much just ego lifting, which is, is fine. Everyone likes to ego lift now and again, but they're just pretty much ego lifting to the point where like, they're not even activating their back. I see a lot of people just load up the freaking bar, two, three plates, and they just barely bend over and they do like a little, little bent arm shrug. That ain't really activating anything. So my advice, leave the ego at the door. Nobody cares how much weight you're lifting uh, if you fucking look jacked. So if you look jacked, it doesn't matter. So you're gonna get the most out of the movement by lightening up the weight. I'm not saying to go light. I'm saying uh, to lighten up the weight for you because heavy weight is just relative. So what's heavy for me could be light for you, vice versa. So just lighten up the weight for you and whatever you can comfortably handle while actually bending over, getting the full stretch in the lats and just 
I'm cleaning the full range of motion. I'm only using 165. I can row two plates, um, just not just for like a few reps with decent form. But to execute the actual perfect range of motion and to get what I want out of the exercise, I'm lightening up the weight. So enough of the ego lifting. It's fun, you know, from time to time. But at the end of the day, if you're ego lifting on every exercise, you're just leaving games at the table. I fucked myself. Now I got to deadlift it up. See, there is a time and a place for ego lifting and form breakdown a little bit. And you saw right there, that's the end of the set. The last few reps, we're just pushing as hard as you freaking can, that much harder. The form will break down a little bit. But if your whole set looks like that, no bueno. You ain't gonna grow. Especially if you're natty. I mean, if you take a year, you could pretty much just touch a weight with shit form and you're gonna grow. And on this page, we're drug free for now. Get a little tired. Need a little DC power up. God, that's good. Injustice, insecurity. Ladies and gentlemen, the two hardest movements are out of the way. Uh, the compounds, the pull-ups, and the bent over rows. And now, now it's time for just straight up isolation, straight up some just pump work. Uh, we're doing some straight arm pull downs on the cables, supersetted with seated rows. And the, these, and this superset alone just just mutates me. Just just makes me double in size. Yeah, just as intense as the last two exercises. So we're gonna get right into it. Cause I'm getting toasty. How's the back looking? Jesus. I got like no pump though. Like I can't feel anything when I lift. It's just I know I look leaner, but like. God. God damn. I see it in the mirror. It's just I don't feel my muscles activate as much like when I'm lifting. See it on this camera. Just high quality the fucking Sony. That Sony camera is doing all the magic there. I don't know if that's actually me. I think it's the $3,000 camera. I don't know how I look right now, but the look on your face, I think is telling me that I look a little bit decent there. Oh. All right, enough fucking around. Enough jerking myself off. Let's hit the set. I don't know if you guys ever do that, but I, knew, I already had the weight I was gonna use on the rack, but I went down, I slid it out, and slid it back in. I didn't like how it was just laying there for too long. Gotta give the fucking, gotta give the cable sack a little work too. Nice and slow. Four more. Four. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. Oh, my phone just fell. I think, honestly, it might be the Golden Era tank just because it fits like a glove. And I don't know, it's got a nice open back. Dude, feathering. All right, second half of the superset, seated rows. Uh, little pro tip here, extra range of motion. Put the foam roller by your feet. An extra couple inches of just stretch and squeeze in those lats. Just extra couple inches could just mean the world, honestly, especially nowadays. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I'm not talking about the gym. Shit. I wish the water was cold. I wish the motherfucking instructors 
keep on fucking running. I wish the fucking rain. Way too late. I'm just giving you guys just the tip today. All the tips that I know. Uh, <laughs> Little tip on the straight arm pull down. A lot of people go too heavy and they'll bring the weight down and when it comes up, it'll just fly up and just take all the tension off. Same thing, lower the ego a little bit, lower the weight. Make sure you can control that weight nice and slow on the way down. And when it comes up, don't just let it fly up. Go nice and slow on the way up. Stop around like right above your shoulder. Then you can go right back down just to keep that tension on. And that's how you freaking just build those lats and build that freaking girth, baby, from the front and the back. And it should look like this in real time. You can bend over a little bit too. A lot of people stand up way too straight up. Get comfortable, whatever's comfortable for you. As long as you can feel the lats, that's all we care about. Boom, nice and slow. Slow on the way up too, right there. Boom, that's the entire rep. Form breaking down a little bit in the end. That's all right. Like I said, at the end of the sets, it's all right when the form breaks down a little bit. Just trying to milk out as much growth as we humanly, as much growth as we freaking can. And that's the end of the game. Strict as hell during the set, and towards the end of the set, it's right to break the form down a little bit just to milk out the extra growth. And the distance is unknown. Let you know who the fuck you are. Stay hard. Let me tell you something. Discipline Joe is going to take over the world. I swear to God, I'm a different fucking person. When you commit yourself to something and you just see the results and you're just building momentum, I swear to God, you feel like you just have a, just a rush of just, it's, it's hard to explain. Like it's, it's a rush of just straight, it's not adrenaline, it's more just, it, what I said, it's momentum. And you just feel like you're being pushed by something as you keep getting after it every day and making those small changes and doing, and actually doing the things like you say you're gonna do and check off the things on your to-do list instead of just having them bleed over into the next day. That's what, that's what creates like that momentum and that push. It's just discipline and it's stacking those W's. Everything you set out, out to do for yourself, you're just actually doing it. So you're not lying to yourself. Like by not doing it, you disappoint yourself. And Exactly, mini defeats every day just fucking kill you, man, trust me. And they add up, they may not seem big at first. Oh, I'll do that tomorrow, but trust me, the second they'll start to stack up, it's fucking to detriment to your success. And I haven't let those fuckers stack up at all over the last two months. I've just been a fucking machine, an absolute machine. So Discipline Joe is gonna take over this freaking industry. you guys fuck the villain arc I'm on the self-improvement arc I am on my Peter Parker just straight up self-improvement arc when like he just starts to get his shit together in the first spider-man I think like the second spider-man uh, yeah just reading some books educating the mind fucking getting myself into shape getting shredded uh, attacking you know what I have to attack in terms of business and you know editing and all that stuff and I'm just in my self-improvement arc. The villain arc, fuck that. We were in a villain arc for a while. It starts to fill you up with hate. And we don't want any hate. We want positive vibes, positivity, positivity through our freaking metamorphosis is what we're chasing. Chase the self-improvement arc. No more villains. We don't, wanna, we don't wanna be villains. We wanna be fucking Clark Trent. We wanna be Spider-Man, Thor. We wanna be the good guys. I don't wanna be the bad guy. Fuck that, everyone hates the bad guy.
fight me. Fight me harder. Uh, harder. Harder. Uh, harder. Uh, Come on, David. You uh, gotta get started now. Come on. Uh, oh, push, push, push. There's a reason people don't squat. It's hard. It's hard. People don't want what's hard. They want what's easy. What looks showy. Nothing compares to squats. You can do leg presses, but why? Why do an inferior movement? Why do a movement that looks good that produces hardly any results? I don't care how much weight you use. I'd rather do did three good plates, get in 15, 20 good reps, and reap the benefits.